It, it is my honor to utter the four most powerful words ever spoken in a democracy. The people have spoken. Well, one of the things I said is they, when they called the race, I said the numbers doesn't look like they're going to add up. But one of the things I want to tell all of you is you never stop dreaming. I want to say thank you to my mother. She grew up in the 1950s. in Waycross, Georgia, picking somebody else's cotton and somebody else's tobacco. But tonight, she helped pick her youngest son to be a United States senator. There's no excuses in life. And I'm not going to make any excuses now because we put up one heck of a fight. And I said, that's what, that's what we got to do. Because this is much bigger. This is much bigger than Herschel Walker. Just because people endured long lines that wrapped around buildings some blocks long just because they endured the rain and the cold and all kinds of tricks in order to vote doesn't mean that voter suppression does not exist it simply means that you the people have decided that your voices will not be silent and as i said you can't blame no one because uh, I want you to continue to believe in this country, believe in our elected officials, and most of all, stay together. Don't let anyone separate you. Don't let anyone tell you that we can't, because I'm here to tell you we can't. Whether you voted for me or not, that every single day, I am going to keep working for you. I'm proud of the bipartisan work I've done, and I intend to do more because I actually believe that at the end of the day, we are all Americans. I believe in that American covenant. I'm never going to stop fighting for you because you're my family. Because I always, oh, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm a winner. Hey, we're all winners, so we're all winners, and that's what I want to say. We're all winners. Are you ready, Georgia? I'm ready. Stand up for workers. To stand up for women, to stand up for our children. I'm ready to build a stronger Georgia. God bless you. Keep the faith and keep looking up.